Yes, it is cookery time now because we just haven't eaten enough, quite frankly. No. Uh, Clovis <laughs> in the kitchen, something delicious. I mean, I don't think I could actually fit any more in here, but I'm going to try. Um, do it. I've got so mm. many leftovers. I'm sure you guys mm. do too. Mm -hmm. Especially the cheese. Why is it that there's always like little bits of cheese left over? I know. Because you buy a cheese board, but by the time you get to the cheese board, you've eaten so much, <laughs> there's not enough room. That's actually it. That's that is what exactly it. That what is it is. What it is. That's exactly <gasps> what it is. So we're going to make mac and cheese with all the that, left. That's the best macaroni cheese I've ever eaten. I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh! Oh Absolutely. Um, okay, so we're oh going to make God, mac and like cheese it. with all of the leftover cheeses left over. So I do love a mac and cheese. Um, this is a little variation on what you might normally make. So I've melted down the butter mm -hmm. and then I'm putting in a bit of garlic. You don't normally see garlic in a mac and cheese, but I think that it adds a lovely kind of just, there's only one clove in it. So just a hint, mm. a murmur. It's like a ghost of garlic going on in the mac and cheese. A garlic ghost. A garlic ghost. Mm. Um, and then I'm popping in flour into it and this is what is called as a roux. Mm -hmm. So I'm making a roux. It's butter and flour put together and that's what you use for thickening up any kind of sauce. So we're starting off making the bechamel sauce. We'll make that into a cheese sauce then. The best cheese sauce you've ever had in your life. It is really cheesy. It's a shocker. I just found a pig in a blanket in here. Did you? No. Yeah. That's the surprise. It's Where's coming that? up next. Oh, is that? Oh my God. So then Cook out the flour a little bit. Leave it for a minute because you don't want the floury taste. And then you put in warmed milk with a bay leaf, if you've got a bay leaf. If you don't have a bay leaf, don't worry about it. You pop that in and then you whisk that away. I saw a thing on Instagram the other day and I'm going to have to clean the language up. And it okay. said, I wish I had the confidence of a bay leaf wandering into every recipe and doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it gives it, what does it, it gives it a little supple background. It does, it gives it like a slightly so earthy. True. It does, it, no, but it does. You're, you're dead right, actually. Every time I put a bay leaf in, I say, you can leave the bay leaf out. It gives a kind of an earthy tone to it. Right. Yeah, it does Subtle give something. something. Yeah. It does give something, but like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mm. be like upset if it didn't turn up to the party. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, if Mr. Cheese didn't turn up to my disco, I'd be. Catastrophe. Death Catastrophe. Death. Okay, so I put the milk in. I've whisked it away with the roux and the garlic, and then it comes out looking like this, which is a white sauce, special sauce. And then this is where we want to use up all the leftover cheese. Before I put it in, though, I'm adding in a big blob of Dijon mustard. If you don't have Dijon mustard and you've got regular mustard, just have half the amount, because okay. English mustard is quite punchy, mm. and the French one is just a little bit more subtle. I also put in a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg in any cheese sauce adds an elevation. It definitely brings more to the party yeah. than, than the bay leaf. leaf. Yeah. That you can take. This one will give a few take. rounds on yeah. the floor. Okay. So a little bit of squeeze in there. And if you don't have a whole one, just use ground one. And if you don't have it, you know, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Okay. In goes the nutmeg. And then mix all that around. And then the cheese. So whatever cheese you have left, like you might have brie, cheddar, blue, what's that? Parmesan. Whatever cheeses you have left, just grate it all up. Like, and just and pop that, it all sort in. Of that quantity there, that's yeah. what you're going to go for, and that will feed... How many people are you feeding with this? This one would feed four people. Right. So this will feed four. Mm. Um, four, like, proper... Do you reckon this one's got blue cheese in it? Because I feel like the blue, blue cheese... cheese I'm not a massive blue cheese fan, but in cooked and in sauce, it gives it a level. It's like, it's really good. It kind of gives a mustiness. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon there's a little bit of stilton or something in here. I think so. I think there is a little bit of stilton so in there. Mm. OK, so now the next little bits. If you have any leftover ham, right, mm -hmm. pop in the ham. If you've got any leftover little sausages or bacon, make sure they're cooked off and then just add them all in. These will be gorgeous little bites. If you have any leftover turkey, you can pop it in. Then I'm putting in cooked macaroni pasta. But it doesn't have to be macaroni pasta. This is about using up whatever you've got in the cupboard. It is, you know, it's a few days after Christmas, you're exhausted, you do not want to go to the supermarket. Whatever you've got in the cupboard. So if you've got spaghetti or linguine, here's what I do. I chop it up into small little pieces. Oh, that's good. And then just blanch it and then pop it in. So mm -hmm. maybe use up all the leftover pasta. And don't get too worried about, oh, is the spaghetti going to cook faster than the fusilli or the penne or the Do you know what's so macaroni? nice about this? I don't know how you're doing it. How, when I make macaroni cheese, it seems to absorb all the liquid out of 
it and it ends up being like quite just kind of dry together yeah a little bit dry um i think i use so there is quite a lot of milk in this mm -hmm. so it's quite a milky creamy sauce so as you can see here there's also cheese that's still got to grate in there mix it really really well but you want this sopping going in so that then it absorbs some of the liquid and it's just right yeah Okay. So it doesn't dry out because it can it's dry out. really good. And also you want this lovely and soppy and creamy and yummy. Do you know what, Bayleaf? Do one. There you go. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Phil oh. doesn't like you. You're not coming into the mac and cheese party. Oh. You <laughs> did so absolutely <laughs> nothing. You Why do I feel bad here? about drinking the Bayleaf away? I feel bad <laughs> about it. didn't bring anything to the party. Oh, no. Bayleaf, you're grand. We still like you. We still like you. Go back. You're fine. Holly and I love you. you can wash it and reuse it. <laughs> okay, then put it into your dish that you're going to serve up in. So, like we did, kind of fancier ones for you, individual ones. I mean, that is huge, isn't it? It is. Massive. That would definitely yeah. serve two people. Um, pop it in here. And what you could do then is pop this into the fridge and be ready, like for just putting it into the oven. So you can do this the day before if you want to. Now, this is how I use up my leftover stuffing. Mm. Do you love stuffing? Yeah, it's my, my favourite thing. Oh my God. So when it comes out and you've got some leftover and you're not using it in your sandwiches, you haven't used it on your sandwiches, pour it over your mac and cheese. It's, Have you added extra bread there. to that? No, that's my Oh, that's your that's stuffing. My stuffing. Oh my so it's got pork in it, it's got everything, mm. herbs, whatever. It's and then really this good. goes into the oven. Now, if you don't have any leftover stuffing, don't worry about it. Um, just use some breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese or whatever cheese that you've got. Oh, where's the one cooked? Here it is. This is the one that's cooked. And out it comes. The ultimate mac and cheese. And it, it really is. is. It is the ultimate mac yeah. and cheese. That yeah. stuffing on the top with that just a little hint mm. of sage is a, it is a, a perfect idea. Don't mind a hint of sage. Don't mind a hint of sage. <laughs> Don't mind a hint of sage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Delicious. We'll Thank see you, you in a bit. Anyway, yeah. you'll be back. Thank you. Right, if you want to have a go for all the mm -hmm. details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chef, and there are loads of them, head to the free This Morning app.